<laughs> That's a close call for James and that elephant. That is exciting. These cheetah have come right out into the open and are heading straight towards us. Look again, some scent marking. What a beautiful, beautiful sighting. They're out in the open. This is a fantastic, fantastic sighting. I brought my camera with me this afternoon. James said, James recommended it. He said, you never know what you're going to see. And look at this. Just absolutely perfect. Wonderful light. So those of you who are photographers, if you would like to ask any questions about camera work, please don't hesitate. I'm going to take one or two snaps of these cheetah. Oh, it's wonderful to see them moving across the clearing. This is typical cheetah terrain. Perfect for them to hunt if they if they do see anything. I was hoping they would head into that direction of the water holes that we passed. So Michael, who's aged 13, has asked an interesting question about the cheetah. We know that the cheetah is the fastest land mammal, and they can reach a speed of up to about 110, 120 kilometers an hour. Now Michael has asked, what is the stride length if a cheetah is in full, or is at full pace, full speed? That is difficult. I'm um, trying to think now. Full stride length of a cheetah. I, th I think it's close to around four or five meters a stride length when they're at 110 kilometers an hour. Very easily. You can see their whole body contorts when they, when they are running. Their back, their spine is very, 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 very. Um, uh, what's the word? Um, bendy. <laughs> um, it's it's supple. The, the back is very supple, and they and that spine can can bend very very easily, and they can stretch. And what they do is the whole whole body opens and stretches as they stride, and they reach those top speeds. Cheetahs found a little bit of shade there, oh, just lying down. See, they're still very, very clever. Even though they move around more during the day than any other predator, more than leopard and lion, definitely. Cheetah do prefer hunting in the in the afternoon or early morning, especially the morning or late morning, and are more active during the day. They are not as active at night, and probably wouldn't hunt as much as at night. It does depend on the area though, but but uh, it you know they are still clever. They will still find shade and they will still rest during the day. Isn't that beautiful? Pamela has asked a question uh, regarding the scent marking of the big cats. Now, Pamela would like to know, would big cats scent mark over each other? Now that is quite interesting, Pamela. I have seen big cats pick up on the scent of other big cats, lion, leopard, cheetah. Uh, often they may use a similar tree and the reason for that is because it's a prominent post. It is something that is passed through regularly by, by these animals in an area that they know very well in their territory. I don't think it's a case of them scent marking over the other one. The scent marking is purely to allow 
other predators of the same species that this is their territory so other lions or other leopard or other cheetah it's not a case of lions scent marking over cheetah because they want to chase the cheetah out but they do definitely pick up on the scent of those other animals in the area the scent marking is purely territorial for each species Excuse me a second. Interesting that the one cheetah has decided to lie in the shade and the other one out in the open. M Michael or Lex come back for Byron? Wrong radio. Michael or Lex come back for Byron? Mike, Mike or Lex, do you copy? Uh, Mike, sorry about that, just an update, still three double M vehicles here, they are still just south of the boundary, we are standing by, I'll let you know as soon as they cross. Copy, will do. Another, another interesting thing is the multitasking that I spoke to you about, the, um, me trying to work all the radios. So we're quite far from the FC at the moment, so I'm struggling to hear some of the questions coming through from Lou. But I think Lou has just asked a question about how often the cheetah need to drink from Maggie in Australia. And Maggie, the, the cheetah, like most big cats, generally they will try and drink each day. You know, if the water is available and is around, they will definitely drink each day. But in some situations, if they are unable to, then maybe every second day, but they will still try, try to get to water. The thing with the predators is they do get a lot of moisture from their kills if they are able to still hunt. And if they are able to kill an impala, for example, they do get a lot of moisture from that, but they do still need water occasionally. As I said, it depends on the time of the year. In summer, when there's lots of rainfall, lots of water around, they will definitely, definitely go and drink daily. Go ahead. Okay, copy that. 